Welcome to our show, The China Briefing. This week, we delve into the vibrant world of music with an exciting special featuring jazz icon Herbie Hancock, who shares his insights on creativity and the upcoming Free Space Jazz Fest in Hong Kong. We also explore the local alt-rock scene and the rich cultural experiences that make Hong Kong's music landscape so unique. In addition to our musical journey, we take a delightful turn into the culinary world with a focus on pumpkins. Chefs from various cuisines reveal their favorite ways to cook this versatile fruit, just in time for Halloween and Thanksgiving. From savory dishes to sweet treats, discover how pumpkins can elevate your dining experience. Lastly, we have a fascinating look into the life of Lisa Minnelli, who reflects on her four marriages and friendships with iconic figures like Michael Jackson and Andy Warhol. At 78, she shares her thoughts on love and her decision to remain single. Join us as we unpack these intriguing stories, and please continue watching for more detailed content. South China Morning Post presents a vibrant exploration of music in this week's Postmag, showcasing an array of talented artists from Herbie Hancock to the Hong Kong Philharmonic. The highlight is an exclusive interview with jazz icon Hancock, who shares his insights on a range of topics, including his musical journey and the influence of technology. The issue also features Antonio Sanchez, who will perform live improvisations to the film Birdman at the Free Space Jazz Fest, alongside local talent like the alt-rock band Well Said, whose frontman reflects on the universal theme of regret in their music. Former Hong Kong Philharmonic general manager John Duffus offers a nostalgic glimpse into the orchestra's 1980s history, proving that classical music can indeed be juicy. In a culinary twist, the South China Morning Post delves into the world of pumpkins just in time for Halloween and Thanksgiving, highlighting their versatility across various cuisines. With over 200 edible varieties, pumpkins can be transformed into an array of dishes, from hearty soups to delectable desserts. Carrie's Plax, group pastry chef at Black Sheep Restaurants, shares her secrets to crafting the perfect pumpkin pie, emphasizing the importance of patience and love in the baking process. Meanwhile, Lee Kai Wai, executive chef at the Legacy House, showcases how pumpkins can enhance traditional Chinese dishes, while Indian chef Monav Tuli reveals the numerous ways pumpkins are celebrated in his homeland. The article encourages readers to explore lesser-known pumpkin varieties, further expanding their culinary horizons. In an intimate interview with the South China Morning Post, Lisa Minnelli opens up about her life and relationships, reflecting on her four ex-husbands and her connections with iconic figures like Andy Warhol and Michael Jackson. Minnelli, the daughter of Judy Garland, shares her experiences with each husband, from her tumultuous marriage to Peter Allen, who was openly gay, to her friendship with Jack Haley Jr., despite their infidelity issues. Her third marriage to Mark Jero ended in heartbreak after multiple miscarriages, while her fourth, with David Jest, was marred by accusations of abuse. Now, at 78, Minnelli has decided against marriage, preferring to cherish her friendships and the memories of her extraordinary life. South China Morning Post highlights the contrasting perspectives on the potential impact of the upcoming U.S. presidential election on Africa, focusing on candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Harris, with her African heritage, evokes a sense of hope among some African Americans and Africans, particularly after her emotional visit to Cape Coast Castle in Ghana, where she acknowledged the historical significance of slavery. However, experts argue that regardless of who wins, Africa is likely to remain on the periphery of U.S. foreign policy. They point out that previous presidents, including Obama, did not significantly alter America's approach to the continent. While Harris may continue Biden's strategy of countering China's influence through investment, Trump's America First agenda suggests a continued neglect of African issues, leaving many skeptical about any transformative change in U.S.-Africa relations. In another article from South China Morning Post, the challenges of maintaining US dollar hegemony are examined through the lens of the upcoming election. The Gilpin dilemma illustrates the struggles of a hegemonic power in balancing its global commitments with its resources. Harris is expected to follow Biden's multilateral approach, focusing on international cooperation to uphold the dollar's status, while Trump's more unilateral stance may inadvertently undermine it. Trump's proposed tariffs and tax cuts could inflate the dollar's demand in the short term but might exacerbate the US debt and push countries away from dollar reliance. 
Meanwhile, Harris's commitment to sustainable economic development and regulation of digital currencies aligns with preserving the dollar's dominance, but the unpredictable nature of political strategies raises questions about the future of US dollar hegemony. Australian Broadcasting Corporation shares an inspiring story of citizen scientist Phil Warburton, who has made significant contributions to entomology by photographing previously undocumented insect species. His journey began when he captured images of an unusual wasp, later confirmed as the first alive photograph of that species. Warburton's work exemplifies the growing trend of citizen science, facilitated by advancements in macrophotography and the iNaturalist platform, which allows individuals to share their observations and connect with experts worldwide. The platform has amassed millions of insect observations, providing valuable data that traditional specimen collection cannot offer. Despite some limitations, experts believe that collaboration between global specialists and local citizen scientists could lead to groundbreaking discoveries in the field of entomology, underscoring the importance of community engagement in scientific research. Nikkei Asia highlights the transformative journey of Asia's credit markets, tracing their evolution from being heavily bank-dominated to a more diversified landscape. The high-yield bond market, which gained momentum in the 1980s, was a pivotal turning point, growing from $190 billion to an impressive $1.7 trillion by 2023. As global financial markets embrace technology and deregulation, the rise of securitization further reshaped the credit environment, culminating in a $2 trillion asset-backed securities market by 2007. Despite the 2008 financial crisis revealing systemic vulnerabilities, credit markets demonstrated resilience and rebounded, with global bond markets swelling to $100 trillion by 2019. The Asia-Pacific region, particularly Japan, now presents a compelling opportunity for investors, as companies seek flexible financing solutions amid a landscape still dominated by bank capital. The Japanese government's reforms to stimulate capital markets and the increasing trend of corporate carve-outs signal a ripe environment for investment. South China Morning Post delves into the tumultuous relationship between Liam Payne and his ex-fiancée, Maya Henry, amidst the backdrop of Payne's tragic death. Following their breakup, Henry had issued a cease-and-desist order against Payne, citing his persistent and concerning communications, which included messages to her family. In a TikTok video, she detailed the distressing nature of his messages, often expressing feelings of despair. The resurfacing of her comments after his passing has ignited discussions about media scrutiny. Maya Henry, a Texas native and influencer, has her own narrative, having met Payne at a Dolce & Gabbana event after a brief earlier encounter. Their on-and-off relationship culminated in her writing a book, Looking Forward, which draws parallels to her experiences with Payne. Amidst the chaos, the story of their relationship and the subsequent legal battles underscores the complexities of fame and personal strife in the public eye. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Turn the lights on screen, what's the latest scene? Just you and me, laugh and disagree. On the couch we sit, talk about the hits, news and bits and bits.
Good time.